Sacramento Bee reporter Ed Fletcher. I'm uh, checking out the new Ford electric bike. This is our Ford electric super cruiser bike um, that we partnered with Pedigo, uh, which is an electric bike company down in Southern California, um, to come out with an exclusive e-bike uh, that is Ford and Pedigo. This bike is, has 500 watts, uh, 48 volts, uh, can go 20 miles per hour, and can go for a distance about 20 miles. Have you ridden a bike lately? Yeah. Okay, good. So it works just like a regular bike, with the pedals and everything. Um, this is a switch where you turn it on, and whenever you need the assistance uh, of the motor, you just throttle back, just like you would like on a motorcycle, right up here. Pretty awesome to have the uh, zip of the electric motor to kind of help you along. Sacramento isn't known for steep hills, but we're going to see how the bike does on one of Sacramento's steeper hills. All right, so that time I didn't pedal, and it, it was working a little bit, but not nearly as hard as I would be working if I just pedaled up that hill. Today I've been checking out the Ford Super Cruiser electric bike. And the last part of that sentence is the most important electric bike because you can't put it into a bike category. It sells for $3,600, but it does give you the ability to get around the entire Sacramento grid without having to, to think about a bike. You can easily move through traffic at city level speeds and then maneuver like a bike. And because it does have the pedal still, if you ever run out of energy, you can still ride it like a bike. And it actually rides pretty well as a bike. Pedigo, of course, isn't the only manufacturer of electronic bikes. Electra, Motive, Rad Power Bikes, Go Cycle, Enzo e-bikes, Magnum, Freeway, and Specialized are just some of the manufacturers. Ed Benjamin of e-cycle, electronic consultants predicts the market is poised for takeoff. 